After more than an hour of impact statements, Thomas Clayton learned his fate. Clayton will spend the rest of his life in prison for hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly back in 2015. And WENY's Logan Wilson was in court today as Thomas Clayton stood bold and defiant in a packed courtroom. Logan, emotions spill over today as Clayton faced Kelly's family one last time. Nick and Renata, you can't even begin to summarize what happened in court today. Thomas Clayton did not hold back when pleading his innocence to Judge Peter Bradstreet at one time screaming he did not kill his wife. Back in February, a jury convicted Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly in September 2015. On Monday, Clayton was handed a life sentence for orchestrating his wife's death. Once the judge gave Michael Beard that at the time of his sentencing, I expected nothing less because this guy, as uh, the attorneys for Beard said, this guy was the mastermind. He was the true predator in the case. Clayton learned his punishment after listening to impact statements from Kelly's family and friends and after Clayton himself had the opportunity to deliver a passionate 20-minute speech to the entire courtroom. He showed mixed emotions at one point thanking Kelly's family for taking care of his kids and at another point saying the family, quote, embarrassed Kelly's memory. Clayton and his attorney maintained his innocence throughout the sentencing. Because I truly believe that this is one of those rare moments, and I emphasize rare, where the jury got it wrong. And unfortunately, once the die is cast, uh, there isn't a whole lot that, that follows except for the inevitable. And that's what the sentence was. Some of Kelly's family had already left the courtroom before the outburst. Clayton also focused some of his anger towards D.A. Wetmore, hinting at allegations of misconduct. No, I wasn't surprised. Nothing that would come out of my, uh, Thomas Clayton's mouth would surprise me at this point. Now coming up on WNY News at 6, hear from Thomas Clayton's family as they speak out for the first time and how his attorney is already planning an appeal. But for now, reporting in the studio, Logan Wilson, WNY News. Uh, first and foremost, I am extremely proud and honored to call Thomas my son. Life without the possibility of parole. That was the sentence handed down to Thomas Clayton in Steuben County Court just a few hours ago. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. And I'm Nick Quaturini. After more than an hour of impact statements, Thomas Clayton learned his fate. Clayton will spend the rest of, rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole for hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly back in 2015. And WENY's Logan Wilson was in court today as Thomas Clayton stood bold and defiant in a packed courtroom. Logan, you say emotions spilled over as Clayton faced Kelly's family one last time. Yeah, Nick and Renata, you can't even begin to summarize what happened in court today. Thomas Clayton did not hold back when pleading his innocence to Judge Peter Bradstreet. His family stood by him, speaking out for the first time. Back in February, a jury convicted Thomas Clayton of hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly in September 2015. On Monday, Clayton was handed a life sentence for orchestrating his wife's death. His family stood by him from the beginning, and now they say this fight isn't over. It's very sad, too, when there's a lot of people within this community who loved and supported Tom and wanted to come forward with statements, but were fearful because of ret retribution from people within the community. Clayton learned his punishment after listening to impact statements from Kelly's family and friends, and after Clayton himself had the opportunity to deliver a passionate 20-minute speech to the entire courtroom. He and his attorney maintained his innocence throughout the sentencing. There truly is a Thomas Clayton that is known to the world who is, is a remarkable human being. And I think that, uh, unfortunately, uh, the evidence spun out of control. I think there, was, there, there were issues that will be raised on appeal, which presumably will uh, see us back here a year from now probably with another trial, I would hope. During his declaration of innocence, Clayton showed mixed emotions, at times attacking Kelly's family and friends, as well as accusing law enforcement and the prosecution of misconduct during this case. The, the jury was would be the true lie detector in a case of this sort. Uh, so he can say all he wants about our witnesses, but why didn't he take the stand and offer his own uh, defense? 
DA Wetmore says he is already preparing to fight appeals from Clayton's attorney. Clayton will be transferred from the Stabenne County Jail to a prison within the Department of Corrections within the next coming days or weeks. Reporting in the studio, Logan Wilson, WENY News.